Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about No Prep Kings Season 7 Qualifier and Guaranteed Spots. Now, photo girl is likely to your photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, back in November of last year, we had a No Prep Kings Season 7 Qualifier race in Arizona. And Ryan actually won that race. Nate Saylor runnered up, and as you may see, thanks to this list that the Street Outlaw Stack Guy published, we can see everybody that participated and everybody that accumulated points and wins on that race. Now, back then, Street Outlaws stated that there were going to be two qualifier racers for No Prep Kings Season 7, so we don't know if this was the first one. And the second one will be the season opener at Maple Grove in April. Or if this is going to be the only qualifier and the racers that actually accumulated points at the qualifier race that won a round or two or won the event, etc. will get into the Invitational right away and the rest of the racers that did not participate or that did not win any round will have to race our way in. Now, usually the first race of the season, it's a qualifier race. It's for less money. And everybody that is invited to No Prep Kings gets to race at that first event in the main event. Now, after that race, in the second race, the top 32 in points races, plus the race your way in cars, which there are always a few ties in the top 32, so a few spots get open for race your way in racers so let's see what happens every year something gets modified something gets changed and also let's see what happens with the grade eight or if team attack will come back that would also be really cool but judging by the individual championship this season i'm pretty sure that the grade eight will also be individual if they do it again and I'm really hoping that the grade 8 applies to the last 8 from the previous race. So whoever gets to the third round actually gets to race on Friday of the next race for money and points in the main invitational race. So I think it's a lot cooler that way because somebody that is behind that actually does good and gets to round 3 can race in the grade eight and if they do good they get more points and they get to advance in the main championship but i can't wait to see what happens now the rules were released a couple of weeks ago minor changes not really big changes this season so let's see what the pro charter guys do the screwblower guys do the really few natural scores which are only two jerry bird and lizzie music can do this season and of course the turbo cars, which we're going to see a couple of twin turbo cars this season as well. So, as I always say, let's see what happens this year.